So there's a couple things we want to make sure that you're aware of uh, just coming up in the near future, just to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, the first of which is that we've been having prayer meetings on Sunday nights, but this week there will be no prayer meeting um, specifically because we have our congregational meeting, which is this Sunday evening, April 26th at 7 p.m. Uh, in case you're seeing this after the fact. Um, that meeting, what we're asking you to do is to come in around 6.30 um, to log in, and you can find the info to log in at graystonepc.org on the main page, or you can call in on one of these two numbers. So you can feel free to pause the video, check out, write down these numbers so you can call in at that time. Um, from 6.30 to 7, we're gonna be just making sure that we can get everybody in there, taking role so that we know who all is there, what members we have. We have a certain number we need in order to have the vote. Um, but I wanna read uh, just the particular call so you know uh, what exactly this is. So the called congregational meeting, previously scheduled in mid-March, is now scheduled as an online or phone-in meeting, scheduled for Sunday, April 26th, at 7 p.m. And please start calling in after 6.30, so we're all ready to begin at 7 p.m. The elder and deacon representatives um, for the pastoral search team um, to search for the next senior pastor of Greystone, the ones who've already been chosen that we're not electing, are Elder David Hill, Elder Rob Brown, and Deacon Dave Irvin. The nominations from the congregation, who we brought together from um, suggestions from the congregation, as well as suggestions from our elders, and then the elders selected these folks for the congregation to elect. Those nominations are Linda Blacksmith, Linda Blakely, George Cariff, John Thompson, and Brooke McGinnis as an alternate. This, uh, this congregational meeting is specifically and only called to approve uh, nominations for the pastoral search committee that will search for the next senior pastor of Greystone, someone who they will look for, who they will recommend to the congregation, and then the congregation will call. Uh, it's a very exciting time in the life of our church as we've been in transition and we're pursuing what is coming next in the life of the church. So for our members, please be there. Um, this is important. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a neat thing as we continue moving forward. Um, even though a lot of things have slowed down, um, some things are still moving and it's very exciting to see what God has in plan. And we can be thankful for that. Um, and that is what I would like for us to do next is to reflect on the ways that we can be thankful to God um, as we recognize that he is the one who is pursuing us, who's called us, as we feel the depth of our sin and the sorrow in the world, there's also a great many things that we can give thanks for, even in challenges. And so I'd like to take a moment, you can pause the video again, for us to give to God a gift of thanksgiving um, by completing this thought, by saying, thank you, God, that you are with me in. So just take a moment to pause the video and to reflect on where God is present to give this as a statement, saying out loud, not even in your head, saying, thank you, God, that you are with me in. And then some kind of circumstance, some kind of fear, some kind of challenge or some kind of joy, just reflecting in gratitude because God is near. And it is an amazing thing to see this. One of the things that I am thankful to God for is the way that he has continued to be faithful through you all to continue the work of the church. And that it has been through our gift of worship in the offering. Um, I'm so grateful for the many who have not only been faithful in continuing to give to the work of the church, but have even gone above and beyond, um, recognizing that this is gonna be a tough financial season for many, um, and, but wanting to see the mission of the church continue. For our ability to serve the Lord, to serve each other, and to serve the community where we find ourselves. So thank you for those who've been faithful. If you'd like to make a gift so that the work of the church can continue or to contribute as part of the offering, you can send in cash or check to the address listed here, 640 Church Street, or you can also go to our website at graystonepc.org slash give. Um, that is a way that we can continue to participate in the work that God has for us as we continue to seek his will for us in this place. So I encourage you to keep being a part of this uh, and we're going to continue in worship. So um, Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And that when we believe that, that we can follow after him and know true hope and true peace. So let's continue in worship as we turn and trust God uh, in this powerful way. Let's sing.